Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of September 13, 2021. This week we've got four different topics. Bombardier is coming up with a new Challenger. It's called a Challenger 3500. We'll talk about this uh, beautiful aircraft. The next thing is, uh, this is a really interesting topic, not something that we typically cover, but uh, more on the technology side. This is a see and avoid uh, technology that could actually save lives, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a man that tried to steal an air ambulance aircraft, not the best idea, and then we'll give you an update on uh, Fly Zolo. Uh, she's flying around the world, this uh, young lady, and we'll talk about where she's at and how much she's covered, so let's get to it. Alright, the first thing this week is Bombardier is coming up with the Challenger 3500. This is the newest addition to the Challenger aircraft line and uh, this is considered a, a mid-size business jet and uh, the, the improvements are, are quite impressive. You have auto throttle available, they have a reduced cabin altitude which means that the, the pressurization of the cabin brings the, the cabin altitude lower, uh, voice control cabin lighting, kind of a gimmick, uh, wireless charging, and then a whole lot of entertainment stuff. This is mostly in the back of the cabin for uh, whoever is going to be flying in that aircraft. You can see the video playing in the background. Uh, just thought this was exciting. I always like looking at new aircraft and uh, aircraft I will never be able to fly. So. Next thing this week is uh, Becker. Becker is teaming with a company called Iris. So it's Becker Avionics and they're teaming with Iris Automation. And with this, they're creating what's called a non-required safety enhancing equipment. They call it NORSI. And this is a collision avoidance system. And this is designed for both general aviation and for unmanned aircraft. And this is important because, well, I evolved a lot in the UAS community as well, as some of you may know. And uh, one of the biggest challenge is to keep unmanned aircraft away from manned aircraft. And as some of you may know, it may even have experience. Unfortunately, it doesn't always happen. So this is a computer vision. This is a, a machine learning device that is going to identify collision hazards and is going to warn the pilot either on the aircraft side or on the remote pilot side and basically let them know that, well, there's a potential for a collision. Uh, this is going to use ADSB information and, uh, and then it's going to use collision avoidance in other areas where ADSB is not available. The reason I'm talking about this is because uh, this is cool. This, this is something that uh, we need to see in this industry, something that's going to help prevent accidents between manned aircraft and manned aircraft and between unmanned aircraft and manned aircraft as well. Okay, next thing, not such a good idea. Somebody in Hawaii, a man from Venezuela in Hawaii, uh, tried to steal an air ambulance aircraft last month. He drove through the fence at the airport, made it to the general aviation area, got into the airplane, started the engine, and then, well, and then he got apprehended by the police. So, uh, arrested him. There was no injury, no damage to the aircraft, but it always amazes me what, uh, what people do. All right, last thing this week, a good update. This is uh, Zara Rutherford. We, we've talked about her before. She flew from Belgium and she's going to go all the way around the world in a fairly small aircraft as a solo. Uh, she's fairly young and she we reported on her twice now. Uh, she made it all the way to South America. She finished the South America portion of her trip and now she's in California. So she's been to 14 different countries so far. And then over the next uh, month, she's going to be traveling on the Western seaboard and then go all the way to Asia and then Russia. Well, Russia, Mongolia, China, and then get out of this and then uh, make her way back to towards uh, Western Europe. So. We'll keep reporting on her progress. We wish her the best and uh, maybe even hopefully at one point we can have her on the show talking about uh, what she's learned. I think this is just amazing. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm very envious because this is something that I would definitely would love to do or would love to have done at her age. So I'm, uh, I'm excited for her to be able to do this. So that's it. That's all I have this week. Um, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.